name is Rachel and today I'm bringing you challenge three from the Read Harder Reading Challenge. So challenge three today is a book by a woman and or author of color that won a literary award in 2018. Um, I will link down below what Book Riot has suggested we look out for uh, literary awards, but I would argue that pretty much anything that is an award in the book realm would pretty much count, I would think. Um, so with that in mind, I picked out a few that I am interested in. The first one that caught my eye was Akata Warrior, which is the second book in the Akata Witch series by Nidia Korafor. And although I have not read Akata Witch, I really want to. So I feel like this would be a perfect opportunity to just read both of them. Um, Akata Warrior won the Hugo uh, for Best in YA last year, so this would definitely definitely count for this award. Uh, next up, this is one that isn't necessarily listed as a literary award, but I feel like should count, so I'm gonna list it here. And that is Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. This won the Goodreads Choice Award, uh, I believe, for debut? I started this one and put it down because I just wasn't in the mood for, for it, so this could be a contender. I do want to read it. And the second one's coming out soon, so this could be a good book for this. Next up is The Stone Sky. This is the third book in the Broken Earth series by N.K. Jemisin. I have been wanting to read a book by M.K. Jemisin, so I feel like, again, this would be um, a great way to do it. Now, I believe in the Broken Earth trilogy, the first book is the fifth season, and I may have the bind up for this. I know I have a huge book by N.K. Jemisin. Can I tell you exactly which ones are in it? No, because I haven't read it. So it may be in there. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I've been wanting to pick it up. So this would be a great opportunity. Um, this one won the Hugo last year for best novel. So obviously this should work. Uh, and again, that is The Stone Sky, the third book in the Broken Earth series. If we're being honest, the one that I probably will end up reading will be Hello Universe by Erin Entrada Kelly. This won the Newbery Award. Uh, and being a school librarian, the Newbery and the Prince are like top notch for me. So um, this is a very, very strong contender. Um, so that I can really push it in the school libraries because this covers several grade bands. Another super strong contender, I don't own it, but again, I have it at my school libraries, is Piecing Me Together by Renee Watson. This won the Coretta Scott King Award. Again, another huge uh, award for school library books. So this is another one that I would love to be able to read and really push out um, to the students. And this has a beautiful cover. It's it's really kind of, I'm looking at the picture right here and it's really speaking to me. So I'm thinking it's going to be one of these two books that I end up reading. Another one that is on the list, but I'm just not sure about is We Are Okay by Nina LaCour. I have seen this book so many times. It's won several awards. I'm just not really feeling it. I feel like I should because it won the Prince Award, which is the YA Book Award. And I want to read it because it won the award and so I can, you know, chat it up with the kids, but I just have no draw to this book. So while technically it made this list, it's probably not going to happen if we're being realistic. <laughs> so if you have any options that you would like to throw out for task number three, I would absolutely love to hear them. Uh, if you have any that you think you're going to read, again, I'd love to hear them. So thank you so much for watching all about task three. I'll see you again tomorrow with task four.